Hi everyone. I'd like to do a series of videos on some vector GIS operations that you can do in R. And then probably I'll do a series of videos on other types of GIS operations you can do in R. And the reason I'm doing this is because I really, having done this for a while now, I'm, I'm learning that R is really a good substitute for everything else. Anything else you might do using a, a desktop GIS you can often do in R and it works great. And this package here, RGS, which is the one I'll be working with mostly today, a number of operations available in this package, it's all nicely put together and really effective at doing a lot of the work you might otherwise do in other environments. So the task at hand here is for today is just to go over the spatial polygon overlay, where you've got two polygon layers and you want to overlay information in these two layers. So imagine that this red layer is a layer of administrative boundaries, the wards of a city, and that this blue polygon layer has forested area. And what I want to do is know how much forested area in square meters, let's say, any whatever units you're using, is inside the each one of these wards. Some of these wards are, in, are, are overlap and some don't. You can see that this ward here has some forested area, but it's not fully forested. So we want to figure out how much forested area is here. And there's a lot of ways you can do this. And again, this is an operation you'd it would be pretty typical in a desktop JS, but we can do this in R2 using this RGS package. The first thing I'll do is I'll create a data set to work from. And just as a reminder, all the code here is available in the description section below the video. So you can download it and, and work along with me if you'd like. And I've set this random number generating seed to a constant. So every time I run it, I'll get the same answer. Now this creates the two data sets, these two layers. And what I'll do is just as a first cut, I'll calculate the, for the forested layer, the, the, this is the forested layer here, and I've calculated area using this gArea function. So when you feed in a spatial polygon data frame or a spatial polygon layer into this function, it will generate area calculations. The reason I show you this is because this by ID is, is, a, is often present in these the functions available in RGIS, and it basically ensures that the calculations being done are being done by ID, and, it, and usually this what this would mean is by each unique unit within the polygon layer. So by, by ID means I'm calculating the area for the unit as a whole, or sorry, if by ID, by ID equals true means the area is being calculated for each polygon in the layer. If I put set this as false, it would calculate it as a whole. And notice it's giving me the total area. It's it's plotted it at each centroid of the polygon, but it's giving me the total area. And that's not what I want. I want this to be true. So just keep this in mind when you're working with these functions. You want operations usually by ID for the for the polygons within the polygon layer. So this is something you've got to pay attention to when you're using it. Now we've got this plotted out. The first task to actually doing this work is to do a spatial intersection of these two layers. So I've got this admin layer, just to show you as an example, this is the admin layer, the red boundaries, and I've got this forested layer, and I want to intersect them. What this is going to do is it's going to create a new polygon layer. This new polygon layer is basically going to be def uh, defined by the boundaries of the two layers combined. So instead of having one layer, let's say, where all the, there are all these red boundaries and one layer with all these blue boundaries, imagine if we combine the two layers so that this represents a new polygon, and this is a new polygon, and this is a new polygon, and this is a new polygon, and so on. So I'll have this intersected polygon layer. So that's what this will do. And again, the by ID is equal to true to ensure that all the polygons are overlaying all the other polygons, or the, all the independent polygons within the, each layer. And then I'm going to turn this new layer into a spatial polygons data frame by giving it some data. Now that I've got this, I'm going to calculate the area for each one of these little sections. So each one of these intersected sections here that I've now created, so I've got little sections created here, little new polygon, a new polygon layer with all these little new polygons in it. I'm going to calculate the area of each one of these. So that's what I'm doing here. Then now that I've got this layer, this new layer, it's got all these little intersected polygon sections here like this. I want to over I want to take that information and I want to put it inside the original admin boundary. So this these red zones, 
I want to have the area of the forested area within these zones. So I'm going to sum it up using this spatial overlay function here. The arguments in the function are the, the destination layer of the spatial overlay, the source data for that spatial overlay, and this function, the return list, uh, you know what? I don't remember what this means. I forget, but it needs to be false for this particular operation. Uh, this here is a function that basically sums up the values within the this this data frame here, the spatial data frame here. So it sums up the data for this data frame. And then we're putting it into the original data frame, the admin layer here. So this is going to do that spatial overlay. Then I'm just going to plot it out. And you're going to see it. And you're going to see that there's a problem that we're going to have to fix. And we'll zoom in so you can see it more clearly. Now when we run the operation right now, what's happened is for this, what we want to do is assign all the forested area to this polygon according to which forested area is actually contained in it. So it should be only these ones. But if you sum up 0 0.042 and 0 0.04 and 0 0.003, you notice that the total, which is in red here, area of forested area in this polygon is much greater than the sum of these. The reason is, is that R has actually summed up the boundaries to include it. So it's by default, if, if, it's, if uh, a polygon is contained within it or it's along the boundaries, it will be summed up. And there's a, probably a number of different ways to address this. But I've, in my experience in using JS, the, often the safest way to fix this problem is to just re change the spatial object from a polygon into a centroid and then use those centroids to, to actually sum this value up. So right now, it's, it's confused. This polygon is, includes the area of all both forested areas within it, but also the ones on its boundary. We don't want that anymore. So if we calculate the centroids of each one of these little polygons and then sum them up, that will be a safe, that'll give us a more accurate calculation of the forested area within the polygon. And I've got that code here that you can see. And if we just go back, I'll uncomment it. So I'll take the comments off here and I'll switch these around. And what this is going to do is it's going to basically do the same work, but instead of the over the spatial overlay being of two polygon layers, one is going to be the the same polygon layer, that admin layer, and the other one's going to be centroids of that intersected layer. And this is going to ensure that the pol the calculations are actually accurate. So if we run this again, we'll, we'll go back to this point here and we'll run it all again. What you'll see is the resulting values are correct. Now, these, these, are, the, so, these are the values of the forested area here, and they're summed up and put into this zone. And you can see that 0 0.085 is the sum of this these three values and likewise this is the sum here this is correct these are all correct now because we're using the centroids which is basically the center of each one of these polygons to sum into this larger administrative polygon so this is the process that's involved there are probably other ways to do it, deal with this maybe in the intersections or in the spatial overlay, you can specify some of these things. I haven't I haven't looked carefully to see if there's other ways, but this is a way I've typically done it inside uh, Desktop JS. Is that rather than using relying on the functionality of the GIS my, itself, I make some decisions about maybe reconceiving the geometry to ensure that this process is is that everything's being calculated the, the way I want. So we we started with two layers, and we wanted to know the area of one layer in the other. And I've, and I've done it using this series of steps here, which basically shows us the process of merging, doing a spatial overlay of two polygon layers. With minor changes, we can do all sorts of things. Instead of taking the sum, we can take maximum values, we can take mean values, we can, we can change this argument to other functions, including customized functions. There's some other things that we can change here, but that's basically the long and the short of it. You, you have a rundown on how you can do these spatial overlays of two polygon layers, and in the next video, I'll go on to point and polygon spatial overlays as well, which is effectively what we've already done in this example, but I'll show you it more explicitly in the next example. Okay, hopefully that's useful. Thanks. Bye.